Hi guys, welcome back to this Tuts Plus screencast tutorial series. My name is Corey Simmons, and in this lesson I'm going to teach you about, in my opinion, one of Gumby's strongest unique features, toggles and switches. Gumby's toggles and switches, what they do is you apply the class of toggle to an element, and then uh, you give it the attribute Gumby trigger, set it to some selector. So what it ends up, what it ends up doing is it, it uh, like if you click on this link, you know, like if you clicked on that link, it would apply uh, the class of um, active. It would keep the class of toggle and it would append the class active onto this link. And it would also um, append the class of active to this uh, something element. Um, so, and then if you clicked it again, it would, uh, it would turn it off. It would, it would unapply that, it would remove that class from both this, this element and uh, this one. So um, you can also do something like toggling between different elements. Um, uh, and then switches, they're the same thing, except they only do it once. They'll only turn something on or turn something off once. Um, and if you can't use the class of active, um, for instance, you're using like some big JavaScript framework and you've got like some app built with it and a big important part of it is uh, the class of active or something or a plugin or something. Uh, for whatever reason, you can't use the class of active um, without screwing something up. You can always change that with this uh, Gumby class name attribute. And then instead of uh, the class of active, it'll just apply whatever class you specified there. Um, some things that, they, that they've made with it, uh, just like to sh show you, uh, like an example, some stuff you can do with it. Uh, they made like this drawers thing. So like, you know, if you click to open the drawer, you can close drawers, you can toggle between different drawers. And uh, they've even made like a modal with it, where, you know, uh, the modal class gets, like it's invisible right now, it's, uh, but if you, uh, but whenever modal has active applied to it, it'll pop up. So these are just like a couple things that like they've done with it, just like for convenience things for you. Um, so like the modal things built in for you. But it's super easy to make on your own. Um, so like you don't have to use this markup if you don't like it. Um, uh, you can you, you know you can make your own just on the fly. So uh, just as an example of something cool you could do with it, let's uh, let's go in here and refresh and pour screen over here, and then um, so let's say this uh, this first link here. We'll call it. Bounce a kitty, which you should never do. And we'll give it the class of toggle and give it the attribute of Gumby trigger. And uh, how about just bounce? Okay. Um, or give it the Gumby trigger of kitty. So anything with our, the Gumby trigger of class kitty. So anything with the class kitty, so we'll say this first, um, this first uh, picture of this kitty cat right there. I pointed at it, like pointing at my screen. So I'll give it the class of kitty. Now, um, if we refresh a few times, see it says bounce a kitty, and I'll go ahead and inspect this this picture of this cat here. Break our window free so we can see what's going on. So now. Um, This anchor right here and this image right here will get the class of active applied to them whenever I click on this. See? Active, active. If I click it again, it turns it off. Okay? So, something we can do with that now. Um, and it's like, it's a super easy JavaScript thing to do, but it's just kind of a butt to like go into uh, JavaScript every single time that you want to do something like that and change it. Like it's really nice that you can just have like an attribute here that'll, you know, just change it on the fly. You know, say you don't want to open up your JavaScript file and, um, you know, start editing jQuery and toggling classes and stuff like that. You can just do it on the fly. So, so now like, now, like, so like what kind of cool things can you do with that? Like, you know, they've made the drawers thing. They made the modal thing. Um, if you go to their uh, homepage here and scroll down 
and check out this border free demo. And we'll make it all big. Um, like you can make sliders with it and stuff. Like this stuff that's sliding in, these are just uh, animations triggered by uh, like scroll top. So like as you scroll, like uh, checks like the window scroll thing. And uh, as you scroll, it checks scroll top. And once you hit like a certain area, um, or, like once a certain area is in the viewport, then it just triggers like a CSS animation. Um, so those aren't, those aren't um, toggles and switches. But if we keep scrolling down, check out this map. Or if you just click on Global Insights, it'll take you to this. Uh, no, it won't. Okay. But if you keep scrolling down and you find like the Global Insights map here, these are um, toggles and switches. So if we click on one, it'll pull up in this like this window. And if we click on this slider, it'll go to the next one and the next one and so on. Click on that one. And this is just toggles and switches and uh, CSS. So, I mean, like, how cool is that, you know? And this little uh, button up here, that's a toggle, or that's a switch, sorry. It's a switch, and it's got active applied to it, so when we click on it, um, hang on, let me dock this panel here so you can see. So when we click on it, It'll remove the, the class of active from something else, I guess, uh, from map modal there. So anyway, like you can do some really, really powerful stuff just by changing, just by adding or moving classes. And I think that's one of the cool things about Gumby is like they show you that you can do that. Like you don't have to be this JavaScript expert to have this kind of cool stuff. You just have to know how to apply classes and then how, how to style classes in a really clever way. Um, which most of us can do that kind of stuff. We just have to be clever about it. So let's make this kitty bounce. Like that said, let's, let's add some animation and tie it to an event, right? Because that's pretty cool. So first we'll make our animation. And um, I'm gonna use the WebKit prefix for this. So WebKit keyframes, and then I'll just call it bounce. And in that I'm gonna say from, um, here let me, Specify my kitty is going to be a position relative no matter what. Okay, and I'll say from top zero, and then I can say to top 50 pixels. And this kitty class down here. And now um, I'll say WebKit animation. And then I'll call the animation name first. Say bounce for, uh, say three seconds. And we want it to ease, to have like some easing to it. Um, and what else? Just delay, and then your easing, and then how you want it to, how many times, and the behavior of it. Okay. So we're saying bounce for three seconds. So do this animation and do it for three seconds. Uh, ease it, do it over and over forever and alternate it. So whenever like you get, like you go from uh, zero to 50 pixels, then we want to alternate and we want to do it in reverse. So we'll go from 50 to 10 or to zero. So what should happen if we did this right is yeah, we got the little, uh, a little animation going right there. So let's make that negative so it bounces up and not. Let's keep refreshing. Okay. All right. So now that's that's bouncing. Let's make it bounce a little bit faster. Let's make it bounce a lot faster, actually. Bounce, kitty, bounce. Bounce. Oh, 200 seconds, 200 milliseconds. A lot slower. Okay. So now we can make it bounce a lot faster. There you go. Bounce, 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 bounce. So, but we don't want that happening the whole time, right? We only want it happening whenever this class is active. So we'll just append the active class to the element itself. 
and now we refresh and you know it's not bouncing. So let's inspect this element real quick and open up our side up here, nav bar. All right, so now whenever we click on this uh, this toggle switch up here, this toggle link. Um, It'll apply the class of active to the link itself, and it'll apply the class of active to kitty. Whenever kitty has the class of active applied to it, it'll animate and look cool. So there we go, we just made an animation tied to like a click event. Um, and then we click it again, and we stop it. Click it, we go. Some other cool stuff you can do with this is like you could, um, for instance, that that map thing that I showed you, um, I, I think what he did with that was he just uh, he took like uh, maybe he set opacity to something, or maybe he set like a z index to something, and uh, you know he said like the the different panels were all there except like uh, the ones that weren't active that didn't have the active class were invisible somehow. They were either like you know they had no opacity, they display none, something, um, and then whenever they had the class of active, they were displayed. Um, you can also chain these. So, um, for instance, like, you know, you could turn on a bunch of these all at once, just comma separate them, and kitty2, and then if we let the class kitty2 here, And then the second link, or oh no, it's just the first link. So yeah, so you can chain them like that. If we put a pipe between them, it'll switch between the two of them. So the first time, it'll bounce that kitty. If we click it again, it'll stop bouncing this one, and it'll switch over the active class to this one. So, you know, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. Um, it's pretty sweet, you guys. So anyway, I mean, like your imagination is your limit with that. It gives you a lot of power. It's really easy to do. So, I mean, like, I don't know if you, if you think of like cool ways to apply it, um, like do it and then leave it in the comments uh, that you did it and what you did and like maybe show a demo or something so other people can benefit from your cleverness. And uh, anyway, I hope you like that. In the next video, we're gonna to put together everything we've learned so far and build an entire beautiful parallax site from scratch the Gumby way. My name's Corey Simmons, and from all of us here at Tuts Plus, thanks for watching.